that look familiar? Sure it does. It's that that guy again. Squeaker. <laughs> yeah. Squeaky boy, trash eater. Super possum. That's right. So we are going to be playing Sparkster again, but this time we're doing it for the Sega Genesis. So uh, people talk about this. They they're like the Super Nintendo one's better. Um, let's see, easy, normal, hard. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. let's do normal, please. <laughs> Let's just crank this up just as protection sake. Everything looks good. Okay. So, as you know, there's the Super Nintendo version and there's the Sega Genesis version. And everybody thinks that the Super Nintendo version is better. I think it has better music, sounds, and graphics. But it is not a better game. It's not a better game because this game is actually playable. Or did they, like, do the levels? It's all different levels and everything? The, the control is much better. Uh, minor things. There aren't like instant deaths all the time. Hmm. There's no like nothing like the uh, depressurized um, submarine. Okay, so the plot of this game is there are seven magical swords that you can pick up, okay. and uh, I, I presume that this is one. Hmm. So if I can get all seven, I can protect the kingdom, or maybe there's a more convoluted plot. And I don't care. It's it's pretty much the same as the other two games. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh. Back to this. Hmm. Like, this one's fun. Ooh, alright, how do I block? Yes, okay, that's how. Okay. So, this is actually playable, unlike the space battle. Hmm, yeah, I remember that being very frustrating. If I charge this up, I could do that, which is cool. Although, I am. Not doing super well. Come on. Come on, Axel. Hmm. Ouch. <laughs> I really want to get a shot in on him with the, the super attack. Oh! Keeps getting you. This is, this is the guaranteed way to beat him. Block his attack, run up and uppercut him. Mm. So it's not super easy once you figure out the strategy, but it is not nonsense like the space battle from Super Nintendo Sparkster. So the game starts out with him getting out of his robot and then immediately getting back in the robot. Well, this is actually a skippable cutscene. What? Uh, if you can press start to get straight into the game, but oh. here's a secret. Winning this battle means you get one of the seven swords. So if you skip this cutscene, you can't get all seven. Oh. It's a tricky little thing they did. Hmm. That's weird. Yeah. Also, do you notice I'm piloting a an opossum? No. You will see it again. Okay. Cool. Here's the dorky MS Paint title. So this time there are two princesses. Um, I don't know hmm. their names still. I think this is a completely different king. You know, it doesn't matter. It's the same plot. They're riding a pumpkin on a triceratops? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's like uh, an <laughs> alternate uh, version of Cinderella. <laughs> a persimmon on a triceratops rhino. Hmm. And we're off. That's enough of that. <laughs> So in this game, remember in the last two games it was pigs and wolves? Now we have to deal with lizards. Hmm. So what's different about this game is I no longer have the sword beam, which seems like a problem. But this game is very good about melee attacks with the sword. So the hitbox is good, unlike the previous Super Nintendo version. Okay. There's also a reward system where if you pick up 100 crystals, you'll get a random prize. That's actually difficulty dependent. Oh! Hmm. Now, something I asked you to remember like a long time ago was a spiral attack that Axel used. <clears throat> I now have an auto-charging jetpack that lets me do a spiral attack. So it'll fill up red, and mm -hmm. I do an ordinary dash, and I have a lot more control about it. Oh, cool. But if it fills all the way up to white, I get a stronger spiral attack, and I don't always ricochet off a wall. So the control and jetpack is way better than the previous two games. Uh. So we're actually gonna wind up using 
the jetpack tactically in a few places. Hm. Yeah. Ha, ha. I mean, I don't like the sprite work as much. I like the goofy sprite work from the last game. But notice that I can get up and actually use a melee attack on this guy. I don't need the blade beam. What are those red things? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show you. So this is a... If you touch that, you get an automatic firing in the jetpack, which is not really a super useful power-up. Okay. Hmm. It's really not that helpful. Okay. The thing charges up so fast anyway. Yeah. There are other nuances I'm missing. Other, like, updates. Because I haven't played this game in, you know... Over a decade. Well. Ooh, got him. Got him, baby. Swish, swish. Swish, swish. So I gotta find those other seven power ups. Where are you? Oh. Look, I can get two shots in because my jetpack fills up so fast. Mm -hmm. It's just general all around improvement. <clears throat> A lot of the music tracks are shared between this game and the Super Nintendo version. You can actually, you can hear that the Super Nintendo has a better quality rendition of these tracks. Um, because Super Nintendo, in my humble opinion, was the superior console. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to get all the way into that console war. But, that doesn't make a better game. <laughs> Jetpacked into a ceiling. Yeah, as, as long as I didn't... What the hell is that? Oh, it's a bomb. Don't want to get that. <laughs> Those are bombs? Yeah, those are bombs. I don't oh, know okay. if I can attack them or what. doesn't matter. A lot of this is just unnecessary. Let's go around it. <laughs> oh, right. So these walls, if you spiral, you can break through them. Oh, that's cool. This is a power-up. As long as you have this, you get a flame sword attack, which I think Sweet. makes your, your dashes more powerful. Okay. Anything interesting up here? Apple. Banana and garbage. <laughs> I gotta keep making apple? that stupid joke. Hey. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright then. <laughs> oh, well, I lost my fire. Because he got the punch in on me. Hmm. see. Did I missing anything up on top here? Oh, yeah, I am. Are we supposed to go that way? Looks like it. Seems there's like there's a, a secret down here. Yeah, I actually thought this was the way to go. <laughs> Okay. Well, to proceed. What? Um. Uh, okay. I guess I forgot about that. That's cool. Or never knew. <laughs> it's been long enough that I don't remember if I knew about that. Nope. Okay. The jetpack power up is actively becoming an annoyance now. <laughs> Here we are. Oh well. So that mechanic teaches you that a spiral attack will work on those screws or whatever they are. <laughs> so I gotta get into this wall. There we are. And you might... Sweet. Excellent. Nice. Hey, I got my power up again. Every 10 is giving me... No. Jesus. That's pretty cool. There's another one. There's number two. Oh, cool. If you play this game on easy mode, you don't have to play this section, mm -hmm. which means you actually can't get the, <laughs> the seven. So this game actively prevents you from getting the uh, MacGuffin treasures if you play on the easiest mode, which I think is a cool idea. Hmm. Wait, I should be using this more. Ooh, what is this? That looks bad. Do I have to go up? I think so. Speaking of bad things. Nope. <laughs> nope. Ooh. Not doing that. I'm doing that today. Oh, okay, here's my <laughs> chance to actually work with this. Nope. There we are. Okay. No, this lets me go this way. That was a trick. This is probably mm -hmm. better. What the hell is this? Uh, I don't know about that. Oh yeah, you can you can go through it if it's in full spin. Oh what? Nice. They're really... Our first mini-boss. Putting the screws to you here. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, you gotta cute. dismantle this thing. Hmm. Now, I haven't bothered to do the math on this, but I think that uh, it feels like you're guaranteed to have to uh, go one round without being able to undo a screw. Hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Your ears are clipping through. Nice. So it's probably a 50-50 chance that I'll actually be able to undo this last one in this next go. Mm. Nope, can't. Can't do it. No? No. This is gonna end up in the center. Oh. I it's see. not a very threatening boss, but it does play with the mechanics you've learned up to this point. Seems kind of weird to think of it as a boss. It's kind of like an inanimate object. I guess I ended up on the backside this time? Yep. Huh. Oh, Konami in your rotations. It's gotta show off. B -b 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 busted. Hmm. The music changes to a really cool tune. Mm -hmm. So in this section, oh Jesus, forgot about these things. What? Plant monsters. Wow. So these are a little dirty. So there are these pink things that land on you and disallow you from using your jetpack, which seems a little irritating, but it's actually a lot irritating. <laughs> I see. Um, it looks like bubblegum. Is that what it's supposed to be? I don't know what it's supposed to be, actually. Just falling from the sky. If you don't take them off quickly enough, they will hurt you. Oh, how do you take them off? Uh, shake and... I, I think swing your sword and shake around a lot. <laughs> but on hard mode, those things are unrelenting. Shake that booty. <laughs> Previously, I talked about the difficulty levels in the, in the prior games. Mm -hmm. In this game, I've actually beaten the hardest difficulty, and it was quite the challenge. <laughs> Um, I can only remember a couple parts being extremely irritating. One of them was those pink things. The other one was the uh, fist fight with Axel, mm. my nemesis. Oh. oh, where's the one I just got from the sky? Oh, well. Okay, so... <clears throat> hey, there's another one I could just take. Nice. There you go. All right, so there's a boss here that's... Oh, oh this yeah. guy. <laughs> what? What a face. Got his nose. Yep, I gotta hit him with the spiral. Oh, and then he, sm he smacks his head to make, like, coconuts got him. fall down. Bombs. <laughs> coconuts, I like that you got that online. This is also very difficult on the hardest difficulty, because his arms are, like, infinitely extending, practically. Oh. Uh. If you're fast enough, you can pick up the apples he throws without getting hit by anything else. Come on. Huh. Ooh, yeah. Bonk. Bonk. Bonk indeed. <laughs> oh, shark. Ouch. Dude. Got him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Boing. What's this section here? Oh yeah, this nonsense. I'll just, uh, oh. <laughs> I'll just not do- okay. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so. What are you gonna do? You'll remember that I got really annoyed at a couple specific places in the previous game. Uh, this mm -hmm. one is actually fair through and through, so... There aren't gonna be any weird bottlenecks where I'm, like, really irritated mm -hmm. by lack of foresight. By lack of Fortnite. Ha, <laughs> ha, topical joke. Topical, gonna be, this, this, but once again, I've, I've dated the video, it'll be obsolete in about six months. Yeah. One can only hope. Oh boy. It's a lot of carts. Or whatever those are supposed to be. This part's gonna be a little challenging. I have to outrun the mini bosses actually coming <laughs> to get me. Oh, I see. Then you have the jetpacks to speed you up. Oh, jeez. Oh, no! Um... Oh, he doesn't instantly kill me. See? That's good design. Now I have to fight him. And now he comes after you with the real. Boing. Do you have little helpers, too? Is that the deal? Uh, yeah, I got little <laughs> possum helpers, too. His lizard helpers. That's cute. 
Alright, so, uh, here's something I will complain about that has nothing to do with the game. Sure. Remember, I had some problems with, with the controller and up and down. When it comes to aiming my jetpack, mm -hmm. it is going to be really annoying if I can't guarantee the correct direction. So already I've missed him like three or four times, trying sure. to go directly left and right. Yeah. Well, he's giving me a lot of apples. Can't complain about that. Yeah. Huh? Ooh. Ooh. Bad times. 